So here's the thing, I've just been docked seven shots on three rounds of golf and I didn't even break par in two of those three rounds. Can someone please tell me what's going on? And is the world handicap system broken? I'm really concerned as to what kind of impact this is having on both golf clubs and golfers alike, because what I am learning very, very quickly is there is a lot of negativity towards this new WHS system. And I'm really struggling to understand how it works and how it's had such an impact on my own personal situation. But let me give some context. So I've been playing golf for over 35 years and during that time, the lowest handicap I've ever been was 5.3. And that was over 15 years ago. And for the past two years, I've not been a member of any golf club and as such have not entered any scorecards. And three weeks ago, I became a member here at Hollywell Golf Club and I transferred my 8.6 handicap was from my CDH number from the previous club I was a member. And since that day, I've entered three competitions. They were 12 hole comps off yellow tees, Stableford points. And my handicap, grab ball, sit down, has gone from a staggering 8.6 to 1.3. Yep, you heard that right, 1.3. What in God's name is going on? I mean, let's be perfectly honest, me saying I play off 1.3 is as ridiculous as Ram saying he went to live golf as a lifestyle choice. So the question is, how did it happen? Well, let's start off with the first two scorecards I entered, which were off my handicap of 8.6. I scored 22 points. Therefore, I didn't even break par off of 8.6. And uh, I soon found out that the new system decided to dock me an immediate three shots because after those two rounds, I was cut to 5.3. I have to admit, at that point, I was slightly taken aback. The last thing I was expecting to see was a handicap deduction at a time when I didn't even break par. So we'll start off by somebody trying to explain to me why the system would do that to me. Not break par of 8.6, cut to 5.3. That's it. But it was an expert of news that was, uh, well, a rather strange blow because the following Thursday, I entered again my uh, third 12 hole Stableford off of the yellows, this time playing off 5.3. And I had a bit of a blinder. I shot level par gross, which is fantastic and uh, due to the fact that I got up and down a few times, rolled in a few putts, and I had a bit of a, like I said, that's a bit of a round. But anyway, I awoke the following day to a new handicap, 1.3, which is where I am right now and where I'm so confused. Now, in old money, and as I always understood it, at 5.3 and as what was an old Cat 1 player, that five under par, if you like, would have got me deducted half a shot. Instead, I lost another four. And right now, my handicap sits at 1.3 and I'm absolutely baffled. Now, after the fun and game subsided and everybody had a pretty good laugh because let's be honest, I know that I should never be a one handicap golfer. And many of you who've watched the channel for quite some time would also agree. So the big question is, why was I deducted so much? And uh, I then started to understand that perhaps golfers weren't very happy with this WHS system. And I wanted to speak to somebody from the club who uh, very much is the face of the competitions, the man who deals with all these inquiries. It is, of course, the head professional, Lewis Johnson, and get his take and some understanding as to what exactly is going on. Oh, it's any good. It's amazing, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, I'm not interested in that, mate, because what I am interested in is your opinion on this world handicap system, because as you know, I'm a bit bamboozled and I'm battered. Yeah. So. I, it's hard. I mean, when you ask for my opinion, mm. you know, it's... It, it's not doing the game any good at right. all. I just can't. So you're, that's your first reaction? Because I've been out of the game, so I don't really know. But your first yeah, reaction so is? I think, 
you, you, the reason you asked my opinion really is because I'm I'm in it. You're you know, I, I'm in it. Day, people yeah. come in, people come in, they get the scorecard off me, I print the scorecards out, um, and it is what's my handicap. Yeah, yeah. And I think how have we got to the stage where nobody knows their own so handicap. people are confused. Pe it, it's making it's making people more confused. Mm -hmm. It's detaching people from like, y you know, the old system. They they felt as though they had control. Where now people are just they relying on some uh, algorithm. And I know the calculations. I know it. I, you know, I give them out. But we, from a golfer's point of view, I can see their frustration. But from my point of view, I'm like sometimes you just go, well, I don't know why your handicap's done that. No. I don't know, and no. then you know, obviously you, you apply logic, and then, you, and then it, it doesn't. No. It, you know, it really, it's really frustrating, and I don't think it's inclusive. You know, there's, no. there's loads of other points. You know, lower handicap golfers really feel detached from it and stuff as well. Is but, it having a negative impact on? Because my thought process at the minute, as you know, what's happened to me. I'm yeah. Thinking, what, what's the point in me going? Yeah. To I, I mean, I've I mean, I've had, I've, had, I've had occasions where I, you, you get low handicap players. Uh, in, in a sort of little bracket there, sort of single figures, I'd say, and then you get your your higher handicap players. Yeah. Uh, let's say, I mean, I, these lads, some of these lads have been playing forty years. Yeah. They, they've got like a, I don't know, like a thirty-seven handicap now. They're embarrassed. Yeah. They don't want that thirty-seven handicap. You know, there used to be a max handicap, and then yeah, yeah. You hit that, and you try to get better, and then your low lads, they're not entering knockouts. They're they're sort of selectively, you know, not playing in certain comps because they go well. You know, 36 to 39 points in a Stableford would be a good. Now it's 45 points as a score. It's just ludicrous. Yeah. I, I don't know where. Um, Do you think I don't that know how we've got there. I, I've been again. All I've been doing is reading online and sort of general response to people. Do you think is it is it? Am I right in saying the lower handicap players seem to be affected more than the higher? Was that wrong? Um, I don't know. Maybe they're more vote. Uh, I feel as though maybe they are, yeah. Right. Um, and then the other one would be, you know, the, the same would apply to the lower handicap lads. Is yes, there's algorithms, and yes, there's things that are, um, you know, there's, there's, it's obviously based on a formula and averages and stuff. But I don't think anyone enjoys this new system. Right. I don't think anyone really feels that they've got control and a, and a firm understanding of what they're doing. Um, I don't really want to go down this route, though. But in simplest, in, in simple terms, what was what was wrong with the old system? Was that broke? Was it? Not it. I, I just got this image of someone somewhere sat in an office justifying their own job, going, "I like yeah. this new idea. Yeah, brilliant. You know, the, I've got all these calculations and all these Excel spreadsheets. But in reality, when lads walk into the pro shop, yeah, there's, it's not as good. Simple. Yeah." So speaking to Lewis, he, like many others, seems to be uh, equally bamboozled by it and uh, I'm struggling to find out what the kind of positives are and why this change was needed, but it's in place. And what I'd like to understand is, I mean, my overall understanding is that until I've got sort of maybe 20 scorecards in and we start to get an average, then maybe I will return to a position in which I feel is probably more uh, realistic than where I am right now so that's what I'll continue to do and obviously I'll adhere by the rules and uh, if that's how the system works now that's how it works but I want to hear from you I want your experiences what are you finding um, like I said everything I've read online and whether that be uh, forums and uh, social media there just seems to be a whole lot of negativity that surrounds this system and the point that I worry about nobody really seems to understand it there doesn't seem to be any logic or explanation that can be applied to understand why your handicap is what it is. And for me, I really just want to, uh, yeah, I just want to get to a situation whereby I'm not turning up on a first tee and uh, telling my playing partner I'll play off one and then uh, top him one down the fairway. Maybe it's not that bad, but everybody knows. I'm not one handicap golfer. Right, give me your feedback down below. Short and sweet. See you soon.